This is blocks that matter. It's a, a game I picked up in uh, last week's uh, humble bundle platforming. Um, uh, platforming, whatever you call it, bundle, I suppose. Uh, I've been playing it for a few hours uh, over the last couple of days. And uh, I think it's uh, both enjoyable and infuriating. Right, I've started with a fresh save just to. Um, just so you can see the, the, the start of the story and all that. Game devs uh, get kidnapped. Um, these are obviously the developers of the game, and, and they continue to uh, make contributions throughout. Um, as, as stories go, it's not particularly deep or anything, but. Um, it's, it's reasonably amusing. And, you know, very nice art style in this of a story bit. So this is where your main character gets revealed. You're a little robot. You can move from side to side. You can jump up and down on things. And you can eat eat rocks by jumping up to them like this. Now, because I picked up four metal blocks, that, that thing over there is the um, upgrade machine. Which, if I can only get to it, will allow me to uh, upgrade, upgrade my little robot. So, uh, I described this game to someone earlier. Ooh, here we go. We've, we've got communication. I've upgraded myself. Great job, Tetro Bot. Alright, so there are these blocks. You can take the blocks by banging your head against them initially. And now I have a drill, it's very exciting. So he's basically giving the instructions. So now I can drill something, or I can bounce like that. So I'll describe this game as, as, as sort of a, a, a cross between Boulder Dash and Tetris. Oh, you won't, you won't really see it yet. Oh, I can upgrade again. So I've got three wood and three sand. So the green numbers there at the bottom indicate a um, target for an upgrade of some kind. Obviously, this is the first level it's all about learning how to do stuff. Right, so now I've, I've you know, I've been doing the, the sort of boulder dash style bit of drilling through stuff. Now I get to activate the um, 
the more Tetris part, which is um, placing placing um, blocks in groups of four. So the blocks have to be connected. We have to play four at a time because of Paget Novian physics. Or something. Alright, yes. So you press space. So you place the blocks, E to bet, get out of the puzzle mode, and then the goal on each level is to get to this, this little teleporter. So that's basically the game. These two keep chatting away. I've got to get four kilometres north of the city. Through this uh, network of underground tunnels with little strange blocks in. Now, obviously, what happens is each time you start a level, all your blocks are gone, so I'm, you know, the teleporter. Teleporter must absorb them. Oh, something really important. <laughs> Incredible black holes. Yes, so you can't jump up, you can't jump up and drill something. There you go, I've got eight blocks, which is the useful amount. So yeah, so I can't jump up. I can't, uh, I can't um, jump and drill that block, I've got to um, build. I've got the wrong shape now. Yes, I have. So you see, obviously, initially, there you go, I've made a mistake. At least in this level, it's quite easy to fix it. Let's try again. This. I did this, you know, yesterday. Mm -mm -mm. No, I don't want to do that at all. I should stop talking and actually think about what I'm doing now. Let's see. Start up there instead. Right, that works. Right, now to get to that step. There we go. See if I was paying attention, that would have been easier. And there we go, if I escape. different types of blocks. So, see the sand blocks will fall down. The 
wooden and stone blocks won't. Now then, that one with a padlock on. Is, is like an unlock. Um, I don't think it actually does anything, but they're quite cool. I'm going to try and open it up anyway for you, just so you can see what happens. Alright, so I've unlocked that. Some more blocks again. There we go. And through here. Drill into that. Into my portal. Woohoo! And you'll see what I've unlocked is. Hey, look, it's Boulder Dash. What a coincidence. Fancy meeting that here. So yes, there we go, the black ones can't be drilled, you can kill yourself. Which actually comes in quite handy later, because there are some levels where you end up killing yourself quite a lot. Mm-mm. Right. Yes. Some of the later levels, this is where it gets annoying, I suppose, rather than, rather than fun. Some of the later levels, it's collapsing blocks, and if you don't happen to, um, if you don't happen to uh, get the right, get the right timing, right, and jump, or something like that, basically, it's all over. And when, when these levels are quite large and there's several interlocking puzzles, and really, you know, you figured out how to solve the first two, and it's just a case of you keep getting the timing wrong or something like that, it gets really annoying when you really just, you just want to experiment or, or try something on the last level. Right, so these slime things, if you touch them, will blow you up. Should be able to do drilling makes you run faster. Oh, and he made it! Yay! Now, you see there's another unlock block down there. I've not actually figured out you get to those ones yet. I'm sure there is a way. I 
Oh, actually, maybe. Let's try this. In later levels you can blow up rows of, of blocks, but clearly not allowed to do it yet. Let's just collect some more blocks again. Uh. <sighs> yes, the portal's going to be quite annoying as well. They give you a name, they keep chatting away. You can skip it by pressing W. They're not really that worried about being kidnapped by people with toy guns. Right, so now we get into some levels that involve more, um, more timing. Line. All right, so basically, you can only afford only afford to touch the uh, the slimes once. Second time you touch them, you'll be dead. Yes, I've been quite enjoying this game. Um, that's why I've done a video of it. It's not a new game, it's been out since 2011 or something. Well, this is the one that really annoyed me. Basically... You've got to escape from the giant slime. I'm fucked now at this point. There's nothing I can do now that I'm here apart from die. Uh, it's took me a long time to get through before. Because I basically see how I missed that initial jump. There's almost no way I'll actually make it now through the level. Unless that jump, oh, I'm dead. So yes, I can eventually get through this level, but it switches from a, um, a uh, puzzle, a puzzle-type game to a quite annoyingly precise running jumping game at this point. It's just like something more like that, but I was quite relieved to have got through this level when I eventually got all the jumps right and drilled and all that sort of thing. But yes, if you can put up with that sort of uh, these little interludes of uh, 
of requiring arcade skill. It's a very fun puzzle game. Um, slightly annoying when you've you've spent three minutes getting to a particular point and then you uh, miss a jump and you have to basically destroy your robot and start again. But I'll stop with it for now anyway. Um, if you see it in a in a sale of some sort, I, I recommend uh, picking it up and and having a go.